Hello friends, this video is brought to you by www.mwayteaching.com. Let us read the question on the slide. Find Q in the addition 3 1 Q plus 1 Q 3 must give us 5 0 1. Clearly we have to find the value of Q. So let us start studying this addition. In the ones place we have Q plus 3 and we have to get 1 in the answer. This can only happen if Q is equal to 8. Let us check 3 1 8 1 8 3 Let let us add it. You will get 11. This comes out to be 10 and 5. Hence, Q is equal to 8 is the required answer. Let us read the question. Find A and B in the addition A plus A plus A must give us B A. This means that we have to take a number A such that if we add it three times we get a two digit number. Let us start with A equal to 1. If we add 1 three times we will get 3 which is not a two digit number. For A equal to 2 we will get 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 6 again not a 2 digit number A equal to 3 will give 3 plus 3 plus 3 9 again a single digit number A equal to 4 will give 4 plus 4 plus 4 that is equal to 12 now this is a 2 digit number but then 4 is not repeating in the answer. We need a number such that A should repeat in the answer in the ones place. So let us move to A equal to 5. We get 5 plus 5 plus 5 will give us 15. Clearly for A equal to 5 all the conditions are satisfied. We are getting a two digit number and in one's place we have A itself. So we can say that A equal to 5 and B equal to 1 is the required solution. Let us read the question. Find the digits A and B such that B into A multiply by B into 3 must give us 57A. Let us try to solve it. We have to multiply 3 with A in such a manner that we get A in the ones place. This can only happen if A is equal to 0. Then if we take B 0 B 3 we will get 3 0 is a 0 and 57 so either if A is equal to 0 or maybe if A is equal to 5 we can get B into 5 B 3 will give us 3 5 is a 15 and maybe then we can find out some B so that it comes out to be 575. 
now look at b say we take b equal to 1 then a can either be 0 or for b equal to 1 a can either be 5 let us try it out you will get 1 into 0 1 into 30 let us multiply we get 130 which is not equal to 570 now let us try for b equal to 1 and a equal to 5 we get 15 multiplied by 13 now if we can get 575 then b equal to 1 and a equal to 5 will be the answer so let us solve it. We get 195 which is not equal to 575. Hence b equal to 1 and a equal to 5 is not the answer. Now let us try with b equal to 2 and a equal to 0. We have 20 multiplied by 23. If we can get 570, then we get the answer. But on multiplying, we are getting 460, which is not equal to 570. So let us move ahead to b equal to 2 and a equal to 5. We have 25 multiply by 23 on multiplying we get 575 since 575 satisfies our condition 5 7 and a is 5 here so we say that b is equal to 2 and a is equal to 5 is the required answer that is our answer is a equal to 5 and b equal to 2.